Hello everybody, I wanted to show you how to make a viewfinder. Basically you get a piece of cardboard that's a little bit bigger than the square you're going to cut out of the center. The square is four by three inches, so you can see that easily enough. There's three inches. And you want the cardboard to be a little bit bigger than that. Mine's kind of extra big, so you could go like eight by nine inches, maybe that's probably enough. You're going to cut out the center just like that. Make sure it's perfectly square. And then you can see some pencil lines I have on here. They're marking one inch intervals. One inch intervals I want to take to the edge and I want to put little notches in the edge. See those? Little razor blade notches? That's what you want to do. Then you simply take about five feet of dental floss and you want to start on one side. So what I usually do is I just put it in the notch on a side and I put a piece of tape to hold it in place just like that and then I take it across and this is a little bit of a tricky part to save on the dental floss I hold it here and I loop it right back around to that other notch see there and then I pull it tight see what's happening my dental floss is just crossing over between the notches and then the rest is pretty straightforward you go here cut across to the corner Go wrap around to the other side. Got me? Do that little crossover. So I'm just weaving it now back and forth across the grid. Where's that notch? That one inch. One inch. And then I have my dental floss is a little bit short. So I'm going to have to put it right on there and then tape it down. Whoop. Wait a minute. I want to make sure that these lines are really straight, straight to guide me in the long run. So I have to pull it a little bit tighter. There we go. That's pretty good. I have a perfect grid that I can view images or anything through. So if I wanted to copy that image, I could do that and break it down into simple squares. And then this is about the same dimensions as your sketchbooks and 18 by 24 inch paper. So you can take that paper and just put a grid on it like this and break down an image pretty easily. This has been done for hundreds of years. It's not cheating, although people think it is. It's just a way of guiding your brain. And then save this little piece of cardboard that goes in the middle because sometimes you'll wanna take it off and slide and change the dimensions of this square of this rectangle and uh, make it into a square or make it into a very long rectangle or whatnot to viewfind. So save this, keep it with your viewfinder and make sure you bring this to class. Be well, bye.